It's going to be a great show. <laughs> and you've got uh, some uh, hockey action for us tonight. Yes, I do. And you ask any hockey player out there, even the Capitals, and they'll tell you the key to the game really is communication. And when that ability is hampered, it can take a lot of the fun out of playing. Well, each Saturday at the Gardens Ice House in Laurel, Maryland, they're not only putting the fun back in skating, but they're helping some special players improve their abilities both on and off the ice. And for just one of these examples, we want to take you inside the locker room. Andrew Roof looks like any other youth hockey player gearing up for a Saturday morning practice. Yes. Hi, Andrew. But every player on this ice is different. They are the Washington Ice Dogs, and most have autism, a disability that makes social interaction, let alone being a teammate, very difficult. In hockey, you can't get very far down the ice without other players helping you and, or you helping them. And so um, I think that's helped because, you know, kids with autism often don't like to share. <laughs> so. Ready? Again, the drills where you know, he has to follow directions, sometimes complex directions. And, you know, just being out there, I think, with the other kids, even though they may not necessarily talk with each other, but I think there's some camaraderie uh, between the kids, and that's been really good for them. Well, first we have had to get used to skating. Andrew admits being scared at the start, but weekly practices created new confidence. He was always afraid to go near the puck. And he went, that went on for a couple years. And then last year, he started touching the puck. <laughs> and then uh, this year, he's actually um, doing some stick handling. And he's taking the puck away from the other team. Well, I've done pretty good at stick handling, skating, and making goals, too. Sometimes I get a little nervous with all those people in the stands. Shy off the ice, Andrew is now pushing his own expectation levels, ready to play with the big kids next year, thanks to USA Hockey's fastest growing program, Special Needs Hockey. A lot of these kids have kind of lived their lives where they live in a shell on their own. And this is forcing them through ways they don't even know of working with each other and communicating and that type of thing. And you know, the locker rooms and stuff like that are every bit as important as what happens on the ice. You know, from kids that would never speak to anybody that now are having parties, birthday parties with their hockey friends and stuff like that. It's just great to see. It's that site that pays the salary of volunteer coaches. Coached every level from learn to skate to college club, and this is definitely the most satisfied I've ever been just because I see the true love of the game in these guys. So listen to this, the next time Andrew takes the ice, it will be at Verizon Center. Because in between the second wow. and third periods of the Caps Thursday game with Atlanta, Andrew is going to represent the Ice Dogs in a shootout competition against the Montgomery Cheetahs, another team in the American Special Hockey Association. That's a big leap. Yes, the stakes are raised for him. for him, I know. It's going to be exciting <laughs> yes. to watch. Straight right. to the big time. Yes. Right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.